Okay, good day everybody. This is Tariq, your instructor for this class. Again, this is chapter number three. We are going to start working on chapter number three today. So welcome everybody to an exciting ISP Microsoft Excel class uh, chapter number three. So first of all, go to your Schoology, log into your Schoology, log into your Schoology and look for my course. Okay, so in this case, I go to my course and we are going to talk about uh, week number five, but in in somebody else class, this is week can be the week, um, uh, any other week as well, but this is chapter number, in week number five, we have chapter number three. So using formulas and functions, this is what we are going to do. So without any further delay, we are going to jump on SimNet. Okay, so I logged in on SimNet and SimNet, under SimNet, I, I like to take a look at my course. Great, okay. So my course, and then I'm able to see chapter number three right here. So if in your screen as well, you're going to log into your SimNet, log into your Schoology, and look for then, because we are going to work on our Excel file first, and uh, with the information, that information will be given to us on SimNet. So we log in on SimNet. Chapter number three, chapter number three is talking about the first one is our book. The second one is homework. And the third one is our classwork. So we are in class. We are working in the class, guys. So classwork, okay. And then the classwork information is given to us right in here. Okay, so Taran comes to me, ask me, sir, what are we going to do? Where are we reading the information? So to answer your question, these are the steps which we are going to do today. And then how to complete this project, the steps to complete this project. As I always mentioned, please open up this steps for homework on your phone. Read the steps from here and complete the steps on your laptop right so it is easy for you i open it i'm going to open it on my excel my phone and then excel on my computer so let's download the file let's start working so first step is download the file how to download the file guys only one time start file this is downloaded it comes right here and if you're not able to see in the down if you're not able to see here go always in the downloads and you are able to see the downloaded file here Okay, so double click on it. That will open up your downloaded file in Excel. This is right here. Okay, so make your file ready and let's start working. Okay, so today what is the file talks about? File is talking about the grade book, the result, the, your book, right? So um, this is what the file is all about today, that uh, we need to uh, create a grade book for our students. Okay, so that is what is the name, the gradebook class size worksheet printed on. So this information uh, is given to us. I'm going to uh, go a little down and take a look at how big is the file. So I can see the assignments right here, and then I can see the students, last name, first name, and then I can able to see their marks, right? And then grade on Excel quiz. Uh, last name and first name. So this looks very, very familiar that we have our students in the class as well. Okay, and then I am the teacher of this class and I'm giving them the marks. So now this is your job. Now you have some students, you are going to work in this file and then give them the marks. Okay, so without further delay, I'm going to click on enable editing. This is my first step. I'm reading from here. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm always reading the steps from here, guys. So open the file, and then second thing is enable editing, right? I click on enable editing. Second step is done. Okay, so now the third step is click on B3. So I click on B3. So I ask Taran, Taran, what is B3? B3 is a cell. Okay, so what is in b3 b3 is a cell nothing is in b3 okay so we need to find out worksheet printed on so we need to put a date and time here okay date and time how to get the date and time go to formulas go to formulas and you're able to see under formulas you're able to see click date and time right 
So under date and time, you're able to see this. Now, we do not want to, now we want to find out what is the day and time now. Okay, so day, today, and time now. So how to find out? We are able to see date, but no time, and hour. So a lot of things right here, time, today, weekday, right? But we want to choose now, okay? So now means that this will give us the today's date and now time. So today's date is June 3rd and time is 1652, right? <clears throat> so this is how you will get the date and time. So the first step done, next one, click on cell A10. Okay, click on cell A10. What is A10? What is an A10? A10 is right here. It says student, right? So we need to put the student name here. But how to put the student name? Um, we are going to, and I'm reading that information from this page, guys. Always remember, I'm reading that information from here, right? Remember that. So I completed these steps. I put a um, tick mark around it. So now I'm going to read this information. I have opened it on my phone. Okay, click cell A10. I click on cell A10. Formulas, under formulas, go to text. Okay, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for concat. Okay, concat, find concat. Where is concat? Right there, concat. Okay, select concat. Now, under concat, what does it say? The first name and the last name. So, text 1, click on C10. You don't have to write anything. You have to click on C10. What is C10? First name. I click on C10. And then, uh, cl uh, uh, click on the next one. And I need a space. Okay. Double comma start, space, double comma stop. Okay. And then, B10. Okay. So this is how I will get my student first name and last name. Okay, under A10, press OK. So you are able to see Justin Albertini. That's the name of the student, right? But this Justin Albertini is all capital. I do not want to have the all capital. I want to have the proper name. What is the proper name, guys? The first letter capital and rest of them, they are all small. Uh, last name, first letter capital and the small uh, rest of this, uh, small. Okay, so I click on A10. How can I do that? I click on A10. I go to formula bar. So Taran comes to me and asks me, sir, yes, you have told us whenever you want to make uh, take a look at the formula, or we would like to make some changes, we click on the cell and we go to the formula bar, right? In the formula bar, guys, add the word proper, okay? Add the word proper. So where to add proper? Between concat and equal sign, write the word proper, P-R-O. But you just have to do not write the full word. Once you see the proper, guys, click on the proper, okay? So that is, what, that is how, once you click on proper, whatever is symbols attached with it automatically comes on now there's a bracket so one bracket started second bracket started only one bracket closed so that's why that's what it says my formula is not complete why not complete because if i start the bracket i have to stop the bracket right so then i added go in and then added one more bracket so now my formula is complete now let's take a look what happens so now what happens is justin abernidi has the proper for uh, first capital letter and then Aberniti has first capital letter rest of the letters are small okay control s please why do we control s guys as i mentioned to you all the time control s to save the data do not want we we do not want to lose the data guys okay so that's why i did control s next one so I have completed the first, uh, the second step for the first student, right? I want to do exactly same thing to the other students. Now, how do I do that, guys? Copy the formula. Once we want to make a copy, okay? Once we want to make a copy, okay? So I have done this one with my first student name, right? So as I always mention to you, if I want to copy, I go in the corner of the cell. Copy, corner, copy, corner. So what happens is my mouse change the shape. Copy, corner, mouse change the shape. Copy, corner, mouse change the shape. And I drag it down. Simple, 
right? So in one click, all the formulas has been copied and I have all the other student names, right? So my, this step has been completed. Control S please. Now go to B2. What is in B2? Class size. How many students do I have? So now Taranis comes back here and he's already start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what are we doing, guys? We are going to count the student. So Taranis is asking me, sir, what is the formula? Formula starts with, guys. So remember, I mentioned to you the formula in Excel. All the formula starts with equal sign. So equal COU. What is COU means, guys? COU means count. Okay, so we do not want to write the full formula. Never ever write the full formula, guys. Always, always, first three letters, write it, and then choose it from there. So if you have, a, if there is any bracket attached, which is always will be, right? So it will automatically comes with the formula. So I double click on count, regular count. Okay, so regular count. I double click on it. The uh, bracket starts, and it says uh, that. Okay, so. See, this is what I made a mistake. I did count, but I need to choose count A. Okay, count A. The time asking me, sir, why count A? Because I want to find out these are the number of students which we want to count, right? So count A, double click on count A, and then B10 to B26. Highlight it now. Highlight it. B10, highlight from how? From the center of the cell. B10 to B26. The computer automatically calculates and give me the total number of students. How many? 17. So if you have the 17 students, then it is the right answer. Okay. So now I need to formula. I need the formula here. So this is the number and I need to see the formula. If I want to see the formula, I go into the formula bar, take a look at my formula. But now that I'm asking me, sir, is there any other way we can take a look at the formulas? Because if I'm doing this file and you're giving me a homework, how can I see, I can go one by one to take a look at the formula and then do it my homework? No, there's another way to find out how to do the formulas, how to take a look at the formulas, which is the other way. This is the other way. Go formulas, and right there it says shows formulas. Okay, I click on it, and this will give me the formulas. So here I have a formula, here I have a formula, and all these ones I have formulas here as well. Right? Remember, we did the with the help of the formula. So now all the formulas displayed. Now I want to close it. How to close it? Again, click go to formulas and click on show formula close open it and then show formula close it okay so this is how you display the formulas inside the cell but normal condition you're able to see one by one so you're able to see the form if you want to be able to see you click on it you're able to see in the formula bar guys okay so this step is done as well okay next one is d7 to r7 d7 to r7 Okay, so D7 to R7, right? I highlighted D7 to R7. In the name box, what is the name box of it? D7. Where is the name box? The name box is right here. I did not click on it, did not do anything. I bring my mouse and it says name box, okay? So I click on the name box and change it. How to change it? Now, what, do, what do you write it here? Possible. Points PTS mid MID. Okay, so always whatever you write it, guys, two things to mention here. Number one, no space, okay, and no symbols. You can put capital letters, small letters, no symbol, and no uh, space. And press enter. Pressing enter is a must. So once you press enter, that means you have done it and it will show you now. If I come back here and I highlight it again, it will show me the name of the name box. Right now, the name box is E5, F5, or whatever the case may be, but E7 individuals are fine, right? But I, once I highlight, it comes back on. But if you did not press enter, then it will not come back. It will not uh, store there, okay? So that is why you want to uh, enter, write it without any space without any symbol and press enter okay 
next step is now how many students have completed or how many students pass the exam and uh, how many people have not passed the exam so now they didn't ask me sir but what is the criteria criteria is guys whoever get the 70 percent that means they pass less than 70 percent is not pass it's it's a warning right so it's not fail but it's not pass so how to do that so the students which are less than 70 percent give them a warning and they're asking me sir where the warning is where can we get the warning so s10 okay so what is an s10 s and 10 right here so it says class drop off cutoff point so less than 70 percent whoever less than 70 percent they will be getting a warning but how Okay, the question is how? With the help of a formula. Now, which formula we are going to put it in? Okay, so uh, to get it, put it in, in right here. So you're able to see where is the total marks. Total marks is right here. Final exam, 63, 60, 70, 72. So the people who are above 70%, they will get uh, lower than 70%, they will get a warning. Okay, so now go to S10. Okay, how to give them a warning? Go formulas logical formulas logical formulas logical under if statement okay so if statement how does if, if statements work if statement has three boxes statement and we are going to write the statement and then we are going to happen uh, we're going to write the result in a condition of true and in a condition of false okay so if your marks is 70 percent or above 70 percent there is no warning but if your marks is set less than 70 percent you will get the warning so this is how we are going to do so right in here we are going to write we are going to create a formula sum bracket start d10 d10 to r10 okay bracket stop okay divided by sum and then possible possible points pts mid okay and then close okay and then we are going to less than less than what less than 70 percent so less than 70 percent give them a warning okay so i give them a warning how to get a warning guys so this is how we are going to give them warning double comma start w capital a r n i n g double comma stop okay and false statement we are not going to put anything we are not going to alarm them that those people are fine only less than 70 percent so let's find out how many people get warning so i press okay and see what happens okay so one person first person got the warning because 63 percent right so now how many people else get a warning so let's find out now go we, i need to make a copy of this formula how to copy go in the corner of the cell go in the corner of the cell go in the corner of the cell and drag it down so everybody got a warning there's some mistake here so we'll find out one second okay so the mistake was now mistake was 70 percent so i click on number one again go to the formula but i want to see the formula in the same box i created so how to get that box so find out click on fx okay click on fx and change to 70 percent here we write it only 70 so this one has to be 70 percent okay so we put it 70 percent here and we do not want to give them warning nothing so we just keep it clean okay so 70 percent and here we want to add comma start double comma start space double comma stop okay so press okay then there's nothing here bring it down and we can find out the warning is given to them three people i got three people the first warning is given to lindsay david and nina okay so the reason why guys because as you can see zero here then 69 and then 50 percent so these people are getting warnings okay so let's find out why are they getting warnings and this is why because less than 70 percent okay so now next one control s everybody so we did control s okay and then click on d4 
Okay, click on D4, highest. What is highest? Okay, so highest marks, which we get it, highest marks. So let's find out from highest marks. Okay, so how to get the highest? In Excel, we do not call it highest. In Excel, we call it max. The same way we do not call uh, add in, in uh, Excel. We call it sum. So add in math and sum in Excel. Same thing. We do not go, uh, talk about the highest uh, in English language. We call it highest, but in Excel, we call it max. So in here, formula starts with equal MAX. Equal MAX. So once we see MAX, double click on MAX. Right? It's asking where the numbers are. D10 to D26. D10 to D26. D10 to D26. Always remember, I did it with the help of from the center. Okay, D10 to D26. D10 to D26. Okay, I highlighted the numbers. D10 to D26. Press enter. The highest number is 30. So let's find out if the highest number is 30. By looking at it, yes, the highest number is 30. So our formula working fine. So we have done with one formula. Right now, I want to do copy the formula to AB4. Uh, AB4. Okay, AB4 right here. Till right here. How to copy? Go in the corner of the cell. Mouse in the shape. Mouse in the shape. Drag it on the side. So AB4. Okay, so we got all the numbers. This step is done. Now we want to find out the lowest. Okay, control S please first. We need to find out what is the lowest. Okay, so what is the lowest? The formula for equal MIN. Equal MIN. Equal MIN. Why? Because lowest is minimum. Same thing. D10 to D26. What is the lowest in here? By looks of it. It shows me 15. So let's find out. Okay. So the answer is 15. Answer is right. And then drag it on the side. I got one. And then the rest of that, I got it. Zero, zero. The uh, lowest as well, right? So I got as well. Now, average. Control S, please. As I mentioned to you, if you remember it, you press Control S. Or if I remember it, I would have complete my step I will tell you to control s always control s guys right to save the file now d6 what is in d6 average okay formula starts with equal ave okay so ave same thing ave average once you see the average the regular average double click on regular average which is the second one from the top so double click on it and Average, how to do average, we add all the numbers and then divide by total numbers. But if this is Excel, we have the formula, so we have to highlight, right? Average in here, D10 to D26, what the average is 24, okay? And then repeat the formula again, how? By copying it to the side. So once I copy to the side, I got all the numbers except I got div dash zero. I don't need it, so I just delete it simply by pressing the delete button on my keyboard okay now i completed the top part as well most of the um, um i am on step number 13 okay so i completed so far from here okay next one is so i want to do the total points uh for each student so just just in Abernidi, how much is the total point uh he got right so how to do that guys total points go to ac10 ac10 okay what's the formula for all uh, to add all the numbers we call it in math we call it add but here we do not call it add we call sum equal sum okay so double click on sum okay and then where the numbers are numbers are from ac ac to AC10, AC10, where is AC10? Right here, AC10, okay, AC10 right here, AC10. From AC10 all the way to AC26, AC10 to AC26, okay, so D, uh, sum is D10 to 
A, B, 10. Okay, D, 10 to A, B, 10. D, 10 to A, B, 10. Okay. So right in here, these are my numbers. Oops, not here. They are. Okay, so where's the formula? Formula is equal sum. Okay, double click on sum. D, D10, D, D10 to, okay, sorry. I have to, one second. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, file has been messed up. So I have to uh, close the file and come back again. In the meantime, so now let's do the formula. Okay, so I need to add these numbers from D10 to AB10. Okay, how's the formula starts as equals sum. Okay, double click on sum and then D10 to highlight it to AB10. Okay, press enter and that will give me a number of 425 total marks right and then I go to I want to do it for each and every student so what I should I do is I want to copy the formula go in the corner of the form go in the corner formula um, uh, mouse in the shape mouse in the shape drag it down okay so simple drag it down I get all the marks for different students so this is how I completed my total marks for each student now percentage how to do percentage right beside it ad10 so how to do percentage guys in percentage is how to do it ac10 okay ac10 divided by ac7 because divided by the total number where the total number is ac5 so ac10 uh, okay so which is 507 this divided by this Okay, 425 divided by 504, that will give me my number. But the problem is I do not want to change AC7 because this is my total number. Total number would not change. How can I do? We have learned it. If I do not want to change the number, what can I do, guys? I can put a dollar sign in front of it. AC and then 7 right so that will not change my 504 504 remains the same and i'll explain it to you in just about a second how that work okay so i click on enter and then 84.3 percent now take a look at the formula if i want to see the formula this is how the formula ac10 divided by ac7 but ac a dollar sign and seven dollar sign because i do not want to change 504 now take a look at it i drag it down all the way down right so remember 504 we do not want to change it okay 504 remains the same 504 we do not want to change it now take a look at when I click on show formulas okay I go in here and then formulas show formulas okay so please notice something that this is how my formulas did not change okay so Take a look. AC10 divided by dollar sign AC dollar sign 7. So all of these ones, AC10, AC11, AC12, AC13, but AC7 are, is not changing. If I do not put a dollar sign, AC7, AC8, AC9, AC10, and the rest of them, it will change automatically. But because I'm putting the dollar sign in front of AC and 7, it is not changing. Okay, so I hope that you understand this point. This is how you do it. Now go to show formulas and the value comes back again. Okay, so next step, control S please. Okay, so next step, we need to do it letter grade. Okay, so here, what is this percentage? What is this percentage? What is this percentage? 90% is probably A grade. But where, Taran is asking me, sir, where is that information? Okay, so that information is available to us, but we are not able to see it on this sheet. So how can we be able to see it? We are able to see it on in the second sheet, which is called grade scale. This is where the second sheet is, guys. Okay, click on the second sheet and you're able to see the grade right in here so zero percent if somebody getting zero percent f grade 60 percent d grade 70 percent c grade 80 percent b grade and 90 percent a grade so we understand this part right so what we have to do guys in here first 
B4 to C8 highlighted. B4 to C8. B4 to C8. From the center, B4 to C8. And then I need to change the name of the name box. Right now, the name box is B4. I need to change the name. What is the name? Grade G capital scale. Okay, S capital grade scale. And please do not forget, we cannot put the um, space in there and we do, we, can, we do not use the symbol. So press enter. Enter is a must. Once you press enter, this name change to grade scale. Okay, control S please. Next step, ready for the next step. So now we're going to go back into score sheet. Okay, score sheet. And here we want to put the scores. But how can we put those scores here? We cannot put manually A or manually B. So with the help of a formula. Now, which formula we are going to use? We are going to, so let me explain. First of all, we have three different formulas. One is called VLOOKUP. Okay, one is called, uh, you don't have to write it. I'm just explaining it to you. So the second one is called HLOOKUP. And then the third one, which is just introduced uh, this year, this one is called XLOOKUP. So we are not going to work on XLOOKUP. We are going to work on VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP, guys, what is VLOOKUP and which is HLOOKUP? VLOOKUP when the answer is on the same floor, answer is on the same row. So that means this row. Okay. So Justin, if I can take a look at Justin Abernidi, all the information of Justin is in only in this um, in this uh, 425 84.3% and then the grade and the second person is the same third person so it's not on in in different rows it is in the same row so that is why we are going to use we look up okay so in different rows to understand it better or to understand it easily how can we find out so in different rows uh, in same row okay and in different rows so um, let me explain let me do it with you so you're able to understand it how we work okay how this will work so we understand this we uh, we look up in same row edge look up in different row so now here Karen is asking me sir which formula we are going to start we look up what where can we find the formula we look up okay so go formulas formulas and then look up right here and find out where is VLOOKUP. So go take a look at VLOOKUP. HLOOKUP is right here. We do not want to HLOOKUP. And then at the very bottom, we are able to see um, in the bottom of the uh, page, we are able to see VLOOKUP right here. Okay, so click on VLOOKUP. Four boxes opens. Now we need to put the information in four different boxes, four different zones. One, two, three, four. Okay, so how? Taran is asking me, sir. In the first, what we are going to do, the lookup value. What is the lookup value, guys? AD10. So what is lookup value, which we want to give a percentage, which is 84.3. So do not write 84.3. Click on the cell, which is AD10. Then uh, table array. Where is the information of the grades? Remember, the grade information is in here, guys. Okay. So grade scale okay grade scale grade scale you have to write it grade scale and then in here number two why because in first column first column you have the percentage in second column you have the uh, symbol so if the zero then f grade okay so so forth and then we don't have to write range lookup so for first one, you're able to see the answer. 84.3% is B grade. So you, this will give you the answer right there, B grade. Okay, so let's find out if he gets the B grade. So he gets the B grade. Now go to grade scale and take a look. 80% is B grade. Okay, so the answer is right. The formula works, right? Now go in the corner, go in the corner, formula, um, mouse change the shape, mouse change the shape and drag it down. So all the formulas comes right here. C grade, 78%. So let's take a look. C grade, 70%. Uh, A grade, 90%. A grade, 90%. Um, 93%. A grade, F grade is 54%. So forth. So that means our formula is working fine. So we understand the we look up, guys. Okay. So now, next step, control S, please. Okay. 
Okay, so next step is we want to do the uh, next step. Next step, we are going to work on X lookup. Okay, as I mentioned to you, that uh, we have three different functions of lookup number one, V lookup, H lookup, and X lookup. So we are going to use the X lookup now. So for X lookup, what we want to do, guys, B10 to B26. Highlight B10 to B26. Okay, and then we're going to change the name of this name box under last name because these are my last names. Last names, please do not make sure, notice something, two things in here, no space and no symbol. Press enter, okay? So I press enter. W10 to W26. Now, Karin asking me, sir, what is in W10 to W26? Remember, we are in Excel class, so this is Excel score. Okay, W10 to W26. I highlighted those ones as well, and then I put, changed the name of the box. What is the name of the box? Excel quiz. Okay, so Excel, E capital, quiz, Q capital and two things to notice no space and press enter so here last name I change the name box and here I change Excel quiz okay so what are we going to do sell click on cell a29 so let's click on a29 let's see what is a29 system is saying to me or uh, book is saying to me okay so now I need to find out what is a29 grade on Excel quiz what is how many what's the grade for Justin B uh, Abernidi for Excel quiz then Jennifer Blackwell and Jen Molly Bonnet okay so I need to find out only Excel grades right here okay so how to find out guys we need a lookup function okay so which lookup X lookup function guys okay where to find it go to formulas lookup X lookup the X lookup is at the very bottom and um, uh, Taran is saying to me sir I cannot find X lookup the reason why you're not able to find X lookup guys because you have you're using an old Excel this X lookup been introduced only in 2021 and office 365 so we have given you a free Excel if you have not updated Excel please this is the time and this is why I'm telling you to uh, update your Excel because some of the functions are not available in older Excel guys that's the exact reason why we want you to uh, upgrade your new Excel so X lookup click on X lookup now again X lookup five different boxes open so we need to punch in information in here click on b29 where do we need the information b29 uh, sorry b29 that's the last name okay table value then table array last name okay so i punch in last name okay and then excel quiz please make sure you are not putting any spaces in here right and then if not found we do not want to do anything in match mode we do not want to anything okay press ok and at the bo very bottom you are able to see that it will give you an NA error okay so we need to find out why this error is okay so so what do you think why where is the error the error is guys let me show you where the error we have done the error we what is the error is last name instead of last name guys this is last names okay so remember we put the day uh, a name as last name so one small mistake will give you error so please make sure whatever you're doing you're putting a right information in here this is last names automatically answer comes right here excel automatically answers comes here and in uh, for Justin Abernidi, the number he got it and uh, the score he got it in Microsoft Excel is 10 automatically comes right here press OK and you're able to see Abernidi's uh, total marks is 10 so I did it this one as well right and then I go in the corner mouse in the shape mouse in the shape copy the formula drag it down boom we got all the numbers in one click guys okay so this is so far we have done completed our uh, steps now the last and final steps guys we if there is a formula how can we check the formula guys go to formulas and you're able to see check error 
error checking right here. So error checking, if there would be er any errors, click on it and it says the error check is complete for the entire sheet. No problems for the errors, press OK and we are good to go. So this is my file for today. Again, remember control S means we want to save the file. Now I save the file, I close the file. Okay, and I go to SimNet. Remember, always go back to SimNet. And here we download the file. Here we upload the file. So let's upload the file and find out how much marks did we get. So where's the file, guys? In downloads. I click on it and downloads. And here's my file. Remember, one time only download because if you are doing it more than one time, you got confused. We do not want to get confused, guys. So click on the file, press open, and it will ask me some uploading my file. Yes. And boom, we are getting a message right here. Uh, we want to submit the file. Yes. And then it will give me my marks preparing results. And let's find out how many marks we did we get. Okay, we got 87.5% and we made three mistakes. Okay, 21 out of 24. Now, um, again, uh, so far you already know how to get the, how to check your errors, right? Because here you are able to, if you close, do not close this window. If you want to check the errors, you click on this button and here you can read the message how to and this is first thing what we did the error that is why it's giving me the error and then here what is the error 1.5 out of 2 highest score then this is the error I did it here okay so you can take a look at it you can read it and then you can fix your error okay and then upload your file again so this is how you do complete your classwork with me guys okay so classwork has been completed and uploaded here but for homework this is how you want to do classwork and upload it here so now you want to do homework homework is your responsibility now homework the same way you're going to complete you're going to upload the file here and also you're going to go in Schoology and in Schoology you have a uh, uh, per, a particular week, so week number five, you have here homework assignment submission. Okay, click on it, and here you have to upload the same file which you have uploaded on SimNet. Only the homework, guys. Classwork, you don't have to worry. Classwork, you already have the marks for you on, on SimNet. So, classwork, you don't have to upload. Homework, everybody must upload on SimNet and also upload on Schoology. Okay, so this is end of today's class, guys. Thank you very much for listening to me, working with me, and completing your classwork file. Now it's time to uh, to complete your homework file. Um, complete it on time, guys. Enjoy by doing it. And thank you very much for listening to me, and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye for now.